I believe that we have the choice in this world to love the person that dear to us or to hurt them to save ourselves from burning. Sometimes we pick the options that are favorable to us without thinking the consequences that might come right after. We sugarcoat the stories that aren't beautiful, we remove the filth in our dirty laundries, we manage to cover the ugly just to show its glory. But nothing is too messed up that can't be fixed by an apology and a songwriter. But in my case, there's one. Not choosing you is the dumbest decision I've ever had. And now, I wonder what would have happened to us if I choose to be with you. Will we be happy? And when will be the long table be set? I don't know yet. Alfredo is not very specific. But, but I understand Esperanza wants it to be next month. Why is he not a bit more decided, I wonder? He is over 30, is he not? And still a bachelor. Esperanza must be tired of waiting. She does not seem to be much in a hurry either. How can a woman be in a hurry when the man does not hurry her? Papa, do you remember how much in love he was? In love? With who? With Esperanza, of course. He has not another love affair that I know of. What I mean is that at the beginning he was enthusiastic. Flowers, serenades, notes, and the things like that. What do you think happened? I suppose long. Engaged people are like that. Warm now, cool tomorrow. I think they are, they are often cooler than warm. The very fact that, that an engagement has been allowed to prolong itself argues certain facility of temperament or of affection on the part of either or both. The pace you were speaking of is natural enough for a beginning. Besides, that as I see it, was Alfredo's last race with escaping youth. Come, Alfredo. We shall visit Judge Del Valle's home. Alfredo! But, I have to finish this. A little matter of relaxation now and then is beneficial. Besides, a judge's goodwill, you know, is worth rising a young lawyer's trouble. Judge Del Valle home? Yes, he is. 
I would try to introduce myself and my companion. I am Don Julian and this is my son, Alfredo. We are your neighbors. Nice to meet you. I am Julia. Please hold on for a moment. I shall call my kuya. Please sit down and make yourself feel at home. Thank you, Julia. Kuya, you have a visitor, Don Julian and Alfredo. They're waiting for you in the living room. I will. Mr. Salazar, what a pleasant surprise. I see you bring your son and suppose with you. Good evening, Mr. Del Valle. I hope we are not interrupting you. And by the way, this is my son, Alfredo. So, you're a lawyer, I presume. Yes, I am. Would you mind if we play chess as we chat? I feel like playing a little game of logic. Anything you want. Anything you want, darling. Drinks. A bottle of cerveza, maybe. That would be nice. Adela, can you get us two bottles, please? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Adela. Anyway, this is my wife, Adela, Julia's sister. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Del Valle. I am Don Julia. Would you want me to keep your company for a while? I think the chat and game of chess will take them a couple of hours more. If it's not that much of a burden to you, Miss Del Valle. Not at all. Alfredo, may I excuse you from this fine lady for a moment? I just found out that Julia is not Judge Del Valle's sister, but rather his sister-in-law. I apologize for calling you Mr. Valle. If you had told me sooner, I wouldn't have called you by that name. That's nothing. Shall I you? was about to correct you, but you remembered a similar experience I had once before. Mm. A man named Manalo. I kept calling Manolo. After the death or so, that young man rose from his seat and said sadly, Pardon me, but my name is Manalo. Manalo. You know, I never forgave him. <laughs> the best thing to do under the circumstances, I found out that it's better to pretend not to hear and let the other person find out his mistake without help. So, you did that this time? Still, look almost every time I... I was thinking of Mr. Manalang. Taking him so long. He's not usually like this. Maybe he's busy. We can accompany you home if you like. I'm fine. I'll just wait for him here. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Are you sure? Yes, I am certain. Okay then, we'll just leave you here. Take care.
It seems like you're busy these past few days, aren't you? Yes. And sorry about that. I'm almost done though. Even on Sundays, you seem to forget to wait for me outside the church. I had a lot of paperwork to do. I understand with your job and all. Up here, I found something. Amusement? No, youth. It's spirit. <laughs> Are you that old? And heart's desire. Down there, the road is too broad, too trodden by feet, too barren of mystery. Mystery? That's so brief. Not, not in some, not in you. You've known me in a brief moment, so the mystery. I could study you all my life, still not find it. So long? I should like to. I hope you're enjoying this. Very much. It looks like home to me. Except that we do not have such a lush environment. The afternoon has been very short, hasn't it? This? I think this is the last time we can visit. The last? Why? Oh, you will be busy, aren't you? Do I seem special and lustrous to you? If you are, you never look like it. Not pasteurizing or breakfast. As a busy man ought to be. But... Always unhurried, too unhurried and God. I wish that were true. A man is happier if he is, as you say, calm and classy. Like a carabao in a mud pool? Who? I? Oh no! You said I am classy and calm. That's what I think. I used to think so too. Shows how little we know serves. I'd like to see your hometown. <laughs> Nothing. There is you. Me? But I'm here. I will not go, of course, until you're there. Will you come? You will find it, Doug. There isn't even one American there. Well, Americans are rather essential to my entertainment. We live on Calinus, a little street with trees. Could I find that? If you don't ask for Miss Dead Valley. I'll inquire about what? The house of the prettiest girl in town. There is where you lost your way. Now, this is quite sincere. Yes. I told you. At least, would not say such things. Pretty. Pretty. A foolish word. But there is an other hand here. I did not look good. So you're withdrawing the compliment? Oh no! I'm reinforcing it maybe. Something is pretty when it pleases the eye. It, it's more than when... If it saddens? Exactly! It must be ugly. Always? No. Of course you're right. Why did you say this is the last time? I'm going home. When? Tomorrow. I received a letter from father and mother yesterday. They want me to spend Holy Week at home. That is why it is the last time. Can I come to say goodbye? Oh, you don't need to. No, but I want to. There's no time. Home seems so far from here. This is almost like another life. I know. This is elsewhere, and yet, strange enough, I cannot get rid of the old things. Old things? Oh, old things, mistakes, encumbrances, old baggage. Goodbye. Thank you.
Julia, I have been thinking that you're a gun. No. My sister asked me to stay until they are ready to go. Oh, is the judge going? Yes. Mr. Salazar, I wish to congratulate you. For what? For your upcoming wedding. I should have offered my congratulations long ago. But you know, mere visitors are slow about getting the news. Are weddings interesting to you? When they are your friends, yes. Would you come if I ask you? When is it going to be? It is going to be in May. They say May is the month of happiness. They say? Would you come? Why not? No reason. I'm just asking. Then you will. If you will ask me. Then I ask you. Then I will be there. Julia, did you ever have to choose between something you wanted to do and something you had to do? No. I thought maybe you had an experience. Then you could understand a man who was in that situation. You are fortunate. Yes. Is this man sure of what he should do? I don't know, Julia. Perhaps not. But there is a point where I think escapes us, that is done one of its own weight, dragging us along. Then it is foolish to ask whether one will not, because it is not a very person But then why? Why? Oh. What do I know? This is his problem after all. Doesn't it interest you? Why must it? Uh, I have to say goodbye, Mr. Sulisan. It's getting late. like a road. There are long and short roads. There are smooth and rocky roads. Crook and straight path. In our life, many roads would come our way as we journey through life. There are roads that lead to a life of single blessedness, marriage, and religious vocation. There are also roads that lead to fame and fortune on one hand, or isolation and poverty on the other. There are roads to happiness as there are roads to sadness, roads towards victory and jubilation, and roads leading to defeat and disappointment. Just like any other road, there are corners, detours, and crossroads. Perhaps the most perplexing road that we could encounter is a crossroad. We are not certain if this road would lead us to our destination or it would lead us to a dead end. There is no guarantee. For the past 8 years, I supposed I was beholding at the light of a life stars. But now I've learned that I've been seeing the light of a dead stars.